My beautiful Sagittarians, welcome to April readings. This is a general reading last for the month of April 2023rd. And we're looking into who is coming towards you or what is on the way towards you in this month. And just a few a few insights regards the astrology that it's on the way this month, starting with Mercury that enters Taurus on April 3rd, April 5th, full moon in Libra at 16 degrees. So happy full moon and the beginning of the month. Then we have April 10th, which Venus enters Gemini. Gemini, it's ruled by Mercury. Venus rules Taurus and Libra. So the love language, how you speak to your loved ones, to those you care and so on. April 19th, we have a solar eclipse in Aries at 29 degrees and at the same time we have a new moon this is the second new moon in Aries of the year yes you heard right and then April 20th we have Sun enters Taurus and then April 21st Mercury stations retrograde at 15 degrees Taurus so Mercury retrograde season starts at the end of the April. So buckle up for that, loves. And for the, the solar eclipse, it's also strong because karmic energies are settling through. And those are in Aries. And, you know, Aries is ruled by Mars. Our actions or the way we take actions our masculine energy, how we manage it, the young energy. And not only those energies to be managed, but Mars is also the, the way we are motivated, the way we start things, the way we continue. So, yeah. Many, many of you, especially the Sagis and those of you cross watchers who are listening these videos, you will see quite a burst, especially in the things you took actions. For example, if you if you want to have a job and you start an application, now you re you will realize strongly, oh, I didn't write correct in that application or I need to change certain things in that application and so on or I start some kind of gag maybe need some touch-ups so for that reason yeah keep an eye on but let's see who is coming towards you what is on the way towards you because sometimes might be a person sometimes might be a situation or certain things that you might not be aware of Sagittarians. What do we have here for the Sagittarius? Let's see. We have a Ten of Swords and a Two of Wands. So definitely something it's done and over. Or you are deciding that enough is enough. Two of Wands, Four of Wands, Strength and the Hangman. It's kind of hanging there, but I feel here now priorities are changing or the way you see certain things are changing or the way you've been doing certain things are changing. Strength, you know, you will get there. Whatever it is here for many Sagis, look at this, two of wands, four of wands, this is six of wands. The minor arcana of strength together so whatever decisions you are taking this month no matter whatever you do could be home environment could be the connections you are into it's quite a big matter it's like you you now will see a lot of things way differently 
and probably certain things that you've felt quite stuck will change as well because the hangman feels like a stuck energy but almost is that energy of you've given time to see what are your priorities you've given time to see what really matters to put your attention to put your energy into and so on queen of swords moon Full, nine of wands, sun, seven of pentacles, seven of cups, and five of pentacles. Not waiting any longer. For some of you, you might be connected here with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I have Leo, double Leo. Someone who has their moon in air sign. For some of you, might you might do. But also with the moon, water energy. So moon and sun. From the dark to the light. And definitely leaving some kind of burden behind. For some of you, you might need to speak up and not be afraid of. For others of you, there is someone here who might open up yourself to certain things that probably, in a way or another, matter to you or you've been waiting for. Because I see you quite, quite confused. It's just kind of like, I wait for that energy and... Probably I didn't know to have that good energy. I needed to walk away from something. Because somebody here is kind of illuminate certain things. And you just kind of like, what do you mean that? There is also something here that really tells you, don't put the things close to your heart. Or don't overthink the things. Let's see, the moon energy clarifier, nine of pentacles. It's kind of like, go with your confidence. You can do it. The nine of wands, three of cups. Enjoy the movement out there. Three of pentacles. Let others to be there and help you. Because it seems here there are certain things here with this tower coming. And many of you might feel like, where all this come from? One more card next to the tower, four of swords. Definitely to reflect on what really works, what really doesn't. The seven of pentacles, wheel of fortune. There's no time any longer to wait or... Maybe, maybe something will come. Seven of Cups, the opportunities are there. The fact is you, you're not quite sure which one are the good ones. Instead of overthinking, it's just to go with the flow with your intuition. As you know, Sages are very, very intuitive individuals. Don't get felt. It's like don't get into the stuck energy or into the energy of nothing works. On the contrary, hold your vision. Yeah, look at this. And the five of pentacles, ten of wands. Yes, there is something here you are leaving definitely behind. Feels like a burden, feels like too much into. And yeah, I see you moving away. Hermit. On a deeper look, you feel here that leaving that behind, it's something here that kept you stuck or kept you in a non-moving situation. Queen of Swords, Four of Cups, Temperance. And a three of wands. 
there's definitely here something to be left behind, my loves. And it's kind of like, don't even be hesitant. It's kind of, I'm okay, I learned this, I'm not gonna stay stuck in here, I'm just gonna keep moving. And once you do that, I feel here this is a very, very much mindset energy. As you see here, the Six of Wands. I don't need to think too long. Didn't work, was not good for me, was one-sided. Let's go rolling. Another thing here, as you see, darlings, we have Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Three of Wands. And there's something here, there is a situation, could be a person. Some of you could be someone you are dealing and they want to come back or something, or they have certain hopes. I feel here, let them go. It's actually bringing you that newness and that movement forward. Because I feel here with all these threes, you learn a lesson. And I feel here that lesson, it's about stick with your point of view. Even though someone here comes forward and tells you certain things or wants certain things or, or have the best intentions, you know what are yours. You know who you are. You know where you come from. And you know what you've been manifesting. For some of you, there is a person here that comes forward and it seems like a too little too late to, to get back with them. And with this moon, it's just feeling like you... It's like, I don't know you. It's like someone here who comes feels very changed or feels very different than what you knew them and just kind of like not really interested. There's some kind of sense of, it's not like moon here you are fearing or having that fear, but it's just kind of like, nah, that seems too dark or the way they speak is too dark or if probably in the past were some kind of uh, you know, impact on you. Now with the fool is just kind of not quite coming and putting effort. Yeah, my surprise that this person has certain, you know, good intentions or wants something good, but it's just kind of like you, if you wanted clarity here from someone, you will get that clarity, okay? But also I'm feeling here there is a Sagittarius who who needs to give themselves credit. You felt very small or you felt so insecure or you you, f you felt like stuck in something and and now it's just kind of like why did I even felt that way? Why did I even been in that energy? You know, sometimes, and I've been said that prior to, sometimes the universe brings certain people to most likely teach us what we want and what we absolutely don't want in our life. And that's a, a huge lesson. The two of wands here underneath, we have page of pentacles. You definitely are moving into something new, way more lovely. And now know who is genuine and who is not. Who are those energies that are good to you and who are not? Five of Cups, Eight of Wands. So whatever here comes to you, it's it's kind of like 
yeah, yeah, okay, I got you. Because whoever comes here is just kind of there. They might be the, the the wolf in a sheep's skin because five of swords and five of cups are very opposite from each other. And it's kind of like, I will say what you want to hear so you know kind of how I feel. But it's not quite that. So whoever you think they changed and got to you or tried to get to you in a certain way, may not. I feel also there is a sense of disappointment energy. And that disappointment is just like they didn't learn anything, kind of. Or they didn't grow anything. Or they don't get it. Some, something like that. But yes, it seems here that you said you are way too far from them. Or the way they come here. The only one five is missing, it's five of wands. So five of wands speaks about five weeks or within five weeks, all this is showing up. But yeah, I feel here now is the time to trust the universe and move into a whole new energy. Every time when comes this kind of energy, I will always say to the universe, Take it and do what you think is best for everyone involved in here. I never wish anything to anyone because I always say whatever it's there for me will be coming and whatever needs to go to them will come to them. So that's why I truly trust in the the law of karma. And the law of karma is the give and receive. Whatever you give it's coming to you from a way or from another, wherever they are the same. I give and receive energy. So that's why many, many of you definitely this month, it's kind of like release month, release people. Yes, yes. It's kind of releasing. You will enjoy much more happiness. It's like emotionally, emotionally, you will feel a sense of big relief standing up your ground standing up yourself for what you truly needs to so yes from the dark to the light one more card here yes i feel here hurts at the same time but at the same time is released king of wands I feel here this is very much you. Seven of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. There is still a process here, loves. There's still a process because there is something new coming in. And yes, I feel here your sturdiness, standing up for yourself. Finally, things kind of clear out. The clear sky kind of, or the clear energy comes in. So again, Ace of Cups speaks within a month, could be this month, or within the month you see this video. The messages from our candles to you. Oh, look at this, Victory loves. Look at this, loves. Look at this. Couldn't be a better one. And Victory is Archangel Sandalphone. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. And underneath here we have spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The time is perfect and you are ready to soar. Bam, bam. It's kind of like, look at this angel here. How his trumpet. It's kind of like, da, 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 da. I didn't see the, um, the judgment card, but also this also speaks about you now know or now you find answers to whatever you've been through. Why certain things were not moving? Why certain things are not going? Because you needed, honestly, to release something. Could be somebody here. Creative writing. Now make time to write down your thoughts in a journal and pen an article or a book. 
whatever it's there to release. Some of you may have some kind of difficulties to release naturally right down. And all is well. Archangel Jeremiel. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With the hidden blessings, you will soon understand. So indeed here, loves, that's quite a month for many of you, but I feel here you are overcoming a big, big energy. The person you might deal, definitely I have air or earth energy. I have also water here and fire, but I feel here this is not necessary, the zodiac sign that comes forward. But definitely many, many of you leaving a very dark time or a very dark energy behind. So definitely here you are having a big, big release. And happiness, it's kind of welcome it. Welcome happiness. Love and light loves. And I thank you for stopping by. I hope this energy speaks to you. And if it does, don't be hesitant to subscribe, like, and share it. Write us in the comments how you feel, how you think, how this resonates, if resonates. And I'll see all of you next time. Namaste.